Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to interface an LED with an Arduino microcontroller. Interfacing an LED with any microcontroller is a very basic level of programming. So, let's begin. Before we jump into the programming of blinking an LED using a microcontroller, let us understand what an LED is and how does it work. LED or simply light emitting diode make great indicator lights. They use very little electricity and they pretty much last forever. They are available in various colors, sizes, and shapes. An LED operates on the same principle as that of a general purpose diode. Except that a general purpose diode or rectifier diode releases energy in the form of heat, an LED releases energy in the form of light. This is because an LED is made from compound semiconductor materials like gallium arsenide, gallium phosphide, and other semiconductor materials that emit light. How does LED work? Well, that's pretty simple. An LED emits light when it is in forward bias condition. To forward bias an LED you just need to connect its cathode terminal to the negative side of an external bias voltage and its anode terminal to the positive side of the external bias voltage. You can identify the terminals of the LED in the following ways. First, you can try to find the longer terminal which should indicate the positive terminal, anode pin. If both the terminals are trimmed, then try finding the flat edge on the LED's outer casing. The pin nearest to the flat edge indicates the negative terminal, cathode pin. One important thing, an LED will glow only if the supply voltage is greater than the forward bias voltage as mentioned in the datasheet. However, applying an extensive supply voltage may result in a breakdown of your LED as shown here. In this situation, an LED is usually accompanied by a resistor that limits the current flowing from the LED. To determine the value of a resistor you can use the following formula. The voltage drop across an LED depends upon the color it emits. The current flowing through an LED can be found from the datasheet. The usual operating range of common 3 mm and 5 mm LED is 10 to 30 mA. If access to an LED datasheet is impossible, 20 mA is a good guess. So, let's begin. Create a new project in Tinkercad. To interface an LED with an Arduino microcontroller we will require the following components, Arduino Uno microcontroller one red color LED, and one 150 ohm resistor. Arduino Uno is a microcontroller board based on the Atmega 328P. It has 14 digital input-output pins, out of which 6 can be used as PWM outputs, 6 analog inputs pins, a 16 MHz ceramic resonator, a USB connection, a power jack, an ICSP header, and a reset button. The LED can be interfaced on any of the 16 digital input-output pins. Here we will connect the positive terminal that is the anode of the LED to pin 12 via a resistor of 150 ohm as shown below. The cathode terminal will be connected to the ground pin. This completes our circuit. Now let's start the programming. If you are new to programming, don't worry, Tinkercad has got you covered. You can program the controller in Tinkercad in three ways that are via blocks blocks plus text, or purely text coding. For beginners, I recommend simply using the blocks method of coding where you can select various blocks from various categories such as output, control, input, math, notation, and variables. In this method, you can simply drag and drop any block as per your logic and develop your codes. You can easily switch between various styles of coding by clicking the various options in the drop-down menu. Let's come back to our main objective. To turn on an LED we need to supply the LED with a voltage which is greater than or equal to the forward bias voltage. A digital port of Arduino microcontroller in its output mode provides a 5 volts voltage at its output pin when set to high as shown here. This 5 volt voltage can easily turn on the LED. To turn on the LED we need to set the output pin 12 to high and then set the same output pin to low. To do so we can drag the set pin to high block from the output category. We will add a delay of 1 second between the above two operations so that we can easily observe the switching of LED by adding the wait 1 second block from the control category.
That's it, you have just coded your first program. You can switch between the block coding and block plus text coding style to check the text code equivalent of the block code. Let's simulate and check whether if our code is working fine. Hope you like this video. Kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates if not already subscribe. Thank you. See you soon.